Welcome to the VersaCharge AC Series wall-mounted installation video. Today we'll show you how to install your VersaCharge home charger. We recommend having a certified electrician conduct the installation. For safety, please remember to always turn the breaker off before you begin. First, let's take a look at what equipment you'll need. A cordless drill with an 8 inch Phillips bit with extender. A stud finder, level, and a 240 volt AC voltmeter. You'll also need a NEMA 650 outlet, a 716 inch socket wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. For the 40 amp VersaCharge, you'll need a two pole 240 volt 50 amp circuit breaker. Or for the 48 amp version, you'll need a two pole 240 volt 60 amp circuit breaker. The charger should include the following items. A mounting bracket, a cable holster, two lag screws, hex head screws that are quarter inch by two inch for securing the mounting bracket to the wall, an Allen wrench, a number eight two and a half inch flathead drywall screw for securing the holster to the wall stud, and two number 10 32 by 3 8 inch tamper resistant pin-in hex socket button head cap screws to secure the charger. First, let's mount the bracket. Use your stud finder to locate the stud nearest the outlet. Make sure that the ground on the outlet is facing down. Position the bracket where you want the charger to go. Then mark and drill 1 8 inch pilot holes to the stud for the top center and bottom center holes on the bracket. Mount the top hole first with one of the lag screws provided, but do not tighten all the way. Level the bracket, then mark and drill the hole for the center bottom hole. Secure with the second lag screw and tighten both top and bottom screws. If you're using an existing outlet, be sure that the power cord will reach. Now that the bracket is mounted, it's time to hang the charger by sliding the VersaCharge onto the bracket via the hinges. Open the panel on the back of the charger where the wires are located. Find the dial and set the amp switch. Do not exceed the amount of amperage the model can handle. A 40 amp charger should not use position 5. If hard wiring the unit, route conductors onto the VersaCharge from the conductor opening with proper strain relief. Then pull 3 to 6 inches of slack through the conductor opening. Next you'll need the ferrite core, which is supplied in the resealable plastic bag or was reserved when the plug was removed. Slide the ferrite core over the black and red wires only and into position. The green wire or ground should not be placed through the ferrite core. Slide the copper wire conductors into the VersaCharge L1, L2, and ground from the connected conduit. Torque all lugs to 14 and a half pound inches with a screwdriver. Rotate it to the right until the unit clicks and is closed. Then secure the enclosure with the locking mechanism. Next, secure the charger cover using a tamper-resistant screw on the side of the charger. Now it's time to install the holster to the charger. Align the holster with the guides in the charger. Then, using the kit-supplied tamper-resistant screw, use the third screw to secure the holster to the charger. Finally, using the kit-supplied lag screw, screw it into the wall. It's now time to plug the charger in and begin setup. Turn the circuit breaker for this circuit to the on position and the VersaCharge turns on automatically. The white power available light should illuminate. If it does not, verify that the outlet or wire is putting out 240 or 208 volts using the voltmeter. With the power available light on, plug the electric vehicle supply equipment cable into the car. If you have any fault lights, please refer to the HMI figures in the manual. For residential home units, download the Siemens VersaCharge mobile app to get started using your charger. Find these applications at either Google Play or iOS stores.